you're watching Toledo's original 9 a.m. show, Good Day. Yeah, you know, we love local here, love small business, and we love history, too. This morning, we put all of those together, and we end up with Stephen Jackson at the Federal Inn in Maumee. Good morning, Stephen. <laughs> Hey, good morning to you, Amanda and Diane. Yeah, so live this morning in Maumee at the Federal Inn, nice and comfy in uh, one of the, the, the library here and uh, got a nice book, really interesting <laughs> title, Pickles and Pretzels. I have no idea what this is about. Um, I did see, yeah, maybe a few recipes in there. I don't know, but a lot of history here for sure. We're joined by Katie. Uh, good morning to you. So uh, this is a uh, bed and breakfast mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of history here. Let's talk about the history a little bit. Yeah, so the house was built circa 1830. So, you know, we're coming up almost to a 200 birthday year mark, uh, which is kind of crazy if you think about life Back then, the yeah. house was built before electricity, before plumbing, before any modern technology. So over time, this house has seen so many different people and, and historical events. But uh, a big draw to the house was the fact that it had so many different people that lived in it. Um, it's seen so much, and uh, I really wanted to make the whole story of the B&B &B centric to the history of the house. So. Yeah, really awesome. And just the wood floors and everything. You just yeah. just, just love it. So Katie, uh, let's get up. Uh, let's sure. go walk around. So we're upstairs right now. So uh, this is where the living quarters are, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, so many uh, folks, when they come here, they walk up this uh, nice narrow stairway. You can hear the creak of the wood, which is pretty <laughs> cool, right? So it just adds uh, to the character. So let's yeah. talk about this room. Uh, give us the name of it and a little history behind it. Sure, so we are currently in the Haywood Haven. Uh, this room is named after Bill and Freddie Haywood, who I was so lucky to purchase the home from. Um, they lived in the house for 44 years. So much life and love was lived in this house. And um, I really wanted the room to speak to their personality. They were avid gardeners, really loved the garden outside. So this room is sort of themed garden, you know, esque folk art. Uh, lots of patterns and prints and fun colors. And um, I think it really speaks to their personality. So. Yeah, so uh, speaking of personality, this home has a lot of personality. So <laughs> uh, when uh, people get an opportunity to come and stay here, w yeah. what's your hope for them to take away? So I have always really enjoyed these sort of hospitable experiences that are in funky hotels and, you know, have a mix of patterns and prints. And I really want people to have a cozy stay. You know, Maumee is this historic river town and get to experience the quirk of the town and see the river. So when people stay the night, I hope they also enjoy the interiors and a little bit of the town. So a quirky, a quirky, cozy mix. Yeah. So what is this, this room here? So this room here is the Nelnick Snow. Um, this is another room available at the inn. Uh, it's named after Miss Nell Nix, who was uh, sort of a culinary queen here in Maumee. She was the longest living tenant of the, si of the home. And um, she made a name for herself making creamed chocolates and candies, barley candies and wedding cakes. And so um, I really loved her story as yeah. being kind of a culinary queen and um, wanted this room to feel very confectionery and sweet and uh, quaint. Yeah, speaking of treats, Katie, uh, you make treats for your guests as well. So I that's do, something yeah. uh, that you do on the regular basis. So talk to us about that a bit. You have a few specials. Watch your step there uh, so you don't trip. I almost did. But uh, you you do um, you do cookies and yeah. uh, breakfast uh, for the guests. Talk about that a bit. So I think there's nothing better than coming to someone's home and there being homemade cookies or homemade bread when you first walk in. It's not only the smell, but kind of the taste um, and feeling of home and coziness. So when guests first arrive, I always like to have fresh baked goods available for them, like cookies, sometimes bread. And then in addition, uh, guests also get a gourmet breakfast. So when you stay, I do try and appeal to any sort of dietary needs or restrictions. Um, breakfast kind of runs the gamut from quiche and egg dishes to yeah. cinnamon rolls and pastries. Ooh, sounds so good. It is. It's delicious. Yeah. I, and this is the master bedroom here, Yeah, right? so what we're looking at right now is the master bed. Um, this is the lot Lair. It's named after General Henry Ware Lawton. Uh, he was an army general that grew up in the house. Uh, this is considered his boyhood home. <laughs> and um, he went on to lead a really legendary army career. Uh, he served in the Civil War. He later died, unfortunately, in the American Filipino War. Um, and so this room sort of pays homage to his life. Uh, a little bit of more of a primitive feel since he was born in 1843. Um, and his 
long-standing career. Nice. So let's uh, go down the stairs and a lot of history so people can learn so much as they they come here. Sure, uh, sure. Uh, not only do you offer breakfast, but you do other specials as well. So we're going actually into the uh, kitchen area right now. So you do other specials. Talk to us about those a bit. So the specials that are included with a package or you can do different, different add-ons for guests here um, include anything from dinner parties here at the inn. Um, you can schedule uh, a dinner party as part of your stay or you can even come as a dinner party. You don't have to necessarily book a stay for the night. Um, those are priced per person. If you are staying the night, you can add on additional packages like the Love Affair package or um, you get, you know, a fresh bouquet of flowers, chocolates, you get breakfast served to you and sweet, early check-in, late check-out. Um, I also offer event rentals, so if you're looking for a place to host a small-scale baby shower, bridal shower event, um, even a luncheon, a corporate luncheon, or place to just do a little co-working event, you know, the table is nice and sizable, there's plenty of space to spread out. Um, you could even get cozy in the library for a few hours if you wanted to. So uh, we try and diversify what we can offer guests in addition to just the stay here. Yeah, so. a really, really nice, uh, quaint uh, atmosphere. And you're yeah. walking distance from the river as well. And you and Jacqueline Jones are collabing uh, for a nice event. Tell us yes. about that. So uh, Jacqueline Jones, who is the owner of Soul Food Collective, she's a vegan chef in the area. Um, her and I are actually collaborating on a pop-up dinner here at the Inn. Our first one is going to be on um, March 9th and our second one that we just planned is going to be on April 13th and the meal is entirely vegan it's all organic um, Jacqueline is a master chef she her food is delicious and we thought it would be fun to kind of create a fun event for people to do in town staycationers or um, you know locals who are looking for some new funky flair and a chance to try Jacqueline's food so yeah also well Katie thanks so much yeah. uh, for joining us and giving us a nice tour and a nice history lesson that we have right here in the city of Maumee and Amanda and Diane. It's a really nice spot mm -hmm. just to get away for the weekend. Diane said it was very much like a Hallmark movie, Stephen. Yes. <laughs> Diane said it's like a Hallmark movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it is indeed. That's good. And it, yeah, it is good. That's, that's, a, that's a new marketing uh, thing that you can I do. Should, yeah, yeah. You should, I should. Yeah, I should add that into like a little. market it that way. Yeah, but really cool. Uh, just nice. And, you know, it just brings, walking into this place, it just calms you down in mm. so many ways. It's really nice. I love the colors here. Very good. Steven's calm. He's relaxed. Love that it's, it's relaxed go. if you're going to be spending the night. Yeah. Very cool. All right, Steven, thank you so much.